Hello guys, welcome to another quick tutorial. Um, this is a simple tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can import uh, an SVG file to Blender and give it some nice 3D looking. Uh, for this tutorial I'm going to use Blender 2.8. Uh, it is a beta version that I have downloaded from www.blender.org um, If you are new and if you are starting to use Blender uh, I think that you should use this version uh, because uh, related to the old ones uh, they have made some major improvements on the interface uh, I will gonna use to the logo that I have that you, you can see on, on my channel um, to, to create that logo I have used the Adobe Illustrator so um, for this tutorial I will use Adobe Illustrator too um, but uh, if you don't have it or if you prefer Inkscape or any other uh, vectorial software you can use it that will work perfectly um, first thing uh, and as you can see I have the default uh, blender scene here uh, which is composed by a cube uh, a camera and a lamp let's uh, remove the cube because we don't need it for this tutorial select it with the right click press delete key and it has gone another thing that I want you to know uh, if you look at the bottom left of the screen you can see that all the keys that I press and the clicks on the mouse uh, will be showing here so if you have uh, any doubt of which keys uh, am I pressing or what am I doing with my mouse you can always look at the bottom left of the screen I think that will help you during this tutorial um, first thing that we need to do in my case is going to Illustrator as you can see I have my logo here and my logo is composed by two main objects the R and the P um, if I export uh, this file as it is to Blender Blender will import two separate uh, objects the R and the P and I don't want that I want it to be import only one object um, the first thing that came to our mind is okay so maybe we can group them together and the blender will assume that they are only one object but that will not work groups are not recognized by blender so what you need to do is create a compound path to do that in illustrator all you need, all you need to do is select the two, the, all the objects go to object menu compound path and make okay as you can see now I have only one object that blender will recognize as only one object next thing to do is save the file as SVG so let's go to the menu file export export as let's select the desktop make sure that you have SVG selected and export that opens a, uh, a dialog box with some options but I will use uh, default values and click OK um, if you are using Inkscape uh, you have noticed or probably you will know that uh, SVG is the standard uh, file type for Inkscape but uh, for better results I think that is better if you choose to save it in SVG plane if you are using Inkscape okay so next step is going to Blender click on file import and choose the option scalable vector graphics um, if you cannot see this option on your computer that's probably because uh, you don't have the plugin activated there's no problem all you need to do is go to edit preferences click on add-ons search for SVG and make sure this is enabled file let's do it again file import scalable vector graphics let's go to the desktop where I have 
save with my, my logo, click on logo and import. As you can see, uh, the logo have imported, but it is too small. Um, this happens because the units that I am using in Illustrator are different from the ones that I am using in in uh, in Blender, and uh, for this case, uh, because we are not using uh, exact measures for nothing, this is just uh, importing a logo and uh, give it some three D looking. Uh, we are not going to 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 make uh, to change those values in Illustrator and Blender in order the logo to be imported uh, in the correct size. It's easier if we can select if we select the logo and scale it uh, to to the size that we want. There are two ways that you can do it. The first and the easy way is to click on the logo with the left right the left click of the mouse and press s to scale it and scale it i press s but uh, you can use the menu this menu here to scale the object i prefer the short keys but you are free to use what you think it's better for you let's press s again or go to the menu to scale And I think that now that's in, in a good size for us to, to start working. But um, with this method, uh, we will have some problems. Um, let me show you. Um, for example, if I want to extrude the logo, if I go to this menu here and go to the geometry, if I click on extrude, uh, as you can see, I have just clicked one time and it have extruded a lot. That's because that uh, has to do with the, the units that are defined on Blender. Um, the same if I use the, the bevel, as you can see, it have not make, not, it, it not have a good aspect. So, all we need to do is go back and show you the other way and the correct way to do it. So all you need to do is click on the object one time, click on tab to enter in edit mode and press A to select all the vertices. Okay. After doing that, you press, you can press S or you can go to the menu and scale it. Okay, S and scale it. I think this size is, is good. Click on tab to enter the edit mode. And now if you go here to the extrude, as you can see, now we have much, much more control of the, of the extrude. I will use 0 0.5 and I will give some bevel here. I think that is maybe one more. I think that is good. Well, basically we have already imported a logo and give it a 3D shape. That's how we can work with SVG and Blender. Now let's just add some some materials to, to this to, to improve uh, the looking of, of, of the scene. So first thing we need to do is uh, create a background plane. I think that is, that is better. So for that you need to press Shift A, select Mesh and add a plane or you can go to the menu Add plane press s to scale or go to the menu if you want and now let's add some material to the plane go to this this uh, button here click on new and i just want the material of the plane to be white so i will choose the base color to 
pure white. Uh, now if you hit the number one key on the numpad to go to the front view, as you can see, we need to move our objects a little bit up. So let's press one. One, you can go to the front view. Just for you to know, if you press seven, you go to top. If you press three, you go to right. And if you hit control one, it's the opposite. You go to back. Control seven, you go to bottom. And control three, you go to left. Okay? Zero, you go to camera. So let's press one. Let's select the our logo press G to move it or you can use the menu I will press Z to make sure that will move only on the Z axis and I will place it here okay that's good now all I want to do is I don't want my logo to be black mm, if, if you have noticed after clicking on the logo in the materials tab you can see there's a material called SVG matte. I will assume that is the color that came from Illustrator. So let's remove it, create a new basic material just to, to change the color. I will select red. Okay. And now if you came here to, to the top of the screen and you click on this button, you will see what is going to be what is going to be rendered okay we are using the EV render engine for this this kind of simple renders uh, we don't need to change um, basically anything maybe just some uh, the ambient occlusion and now to finish our scene I just is uh, we just need to find some nice angle to put the camera if you click on zero and you go to the camera, as you can see, it is uh, too too close to to the logo. I need to move it uh, faster. Uh, faster. I'm sorry. I need it to move to move it um, uh, I need it to move it far away from the logo. I don't know if it is the the correct uh, expression. Um, and you can do it in two ways you can do do it by selecting the camera and move it pressing G or go to the menu or you can just place the scene you, you just place the scene as you want it the camera to see and then hit Control alt 0 okay now as you can see the camera is pointing to to this zero as you can see and the camera is pointing okay so all we need to do now is to generate uh, a final image of, of the logo for that you just need to click on rendering and press F12 key as you can see now we have a picture with our final result uh, I hope that you have liked it. I'm sorry about that it's my my phone uh, I hope that you have liked this tutorial and uh, if you want to see more tutorials made by me please uh, subscribe my channel uh, looking uh, forward to, to see you soon and happy renderings